great. So yeah, we do have Fushi Tensei and we have uh, Emil. Oh yeah, hey, Emily got subbed in. Sweet. Yep, Emily subbed in. I, we might even see unsalted. Unsainted, yeah. Sainted yeah. shark. Uh, we're, we can call him unsalted. Unsalted. He does <laughs> not get salty, folks. I actually haven't got to speak to him very much. On, on everybody, as far as the roster is concerned, I don't. I get to talk to most all of them, but I catch him at practices. At that time, he's busy. I've only ever seen him around. Like every time I'm up here, he's not here. He's either somewhere else or. I think last time I was here that he was here, I said hey, but that was about it. He is here tonight, um, obviously, because he is playing. Or at least he's spectating right now. I know he's here. I did see him. Uh, and we've actually grown the A-team roster quite a bit. Uh, I think Chief is looking to a 12-man roster for oh, wow. A-team. And that okay. way we have a lot more variety and we don't have any situations where say three or four people busy yeah you know, we're yeah. able to make sure ahead of time that we have a, a so we're gonna see the infamous murray state pinch speaking, here at the I gate get most of my team got alive. the reaper and uh bonsai and on her on the may we're gonna see that ice wall to separate and reaper to punish and we are running the typical orissa sigma shield comp five four, filth he's played eight, excellent with baptiste six, every time he's one. played it and uh, Emily has really stepped up on that Moyer when she's been called upon. So, really excited to see here. Uh, getting some lobs coming in. And it looks like they're running the Reinhardt now who gets separated. Already. Early separation from Murray State coming in. They're running the Reinhardt, sorry, this time. And now Murray State gets to show them how to properly play this composition. <laughs> and Reinhardt falls early to the rock of Fushi, who's on the Sigma. And on her gets the pick. On the Zarya, Murray State is going to back up and do it again. And do it again. I asked Aziz about this as well. Um, it's very scripted. They know exactly where they need to stand from the beginning of the map until the end of the map. I was worried that maybe the, the players are getting too comfortable yeah. doing the exact same maneuvers. And, you know, is the timing ever getting messed up? But they said no. And there's, again, an excellent ice wall. It does allow some people to filter in, but it just makes it easier for Murray State to pick them off. Two shot falling early to the Chief, who we don't normally see him play, Orissa, but he's doing just fine. And oh, Ontario pushing forward. That's a DPS and a tank down for Murray State. Fushi falling early. And who's going to try and block off some damage with the Ice Wall? Emily getting in the heels. And there's the Immortality Field coming in, maybe just the right time. And I think Murray State might be able to stabilize here if they don't get picked off, but there it is. Unlucky. Unlucky pick. And they will give that first point to Ontario and back up. And the Doomfist playing aggressive there. Doomfist going deep. Oh, coming with the Zarya as well. Murray State needs to hurry up and get a handle on this. Ontario Tech, wow, they're playing aggro. And this is where we've seen Murray State struggle. So this will be a real test. But the Reinhardt separated by a perfect ice wall from Anna. Chief has his supercharger. He's not going to waste it here. But Ontario continuing to push up. They've pushed up. They just now capped the point. <laughs> Because they pushed everybody up so far. Holy cow. But they only, I mean, I assume they had at least one on there. but They had the one, but Ooh. that is going to be a bit of a reality check for Murray State, who is now way back at this spawn. Yeah, that was actually a really interesting aggro play. They were able to keep them in that secondary spawn location long enough to finish capturing the point and push Murray State even further back. I mean, they were literally in the spawn. That was crazy. Yeah. Bonsai fading away. He tried to do some damage, but decided it was smarter to get out of there. Probably a good call. Expect to see an ice wall here in just a second for Manher. But he's got the blizzard at the ready. Those right clicks are dead on. Yeah, you don't want to be on the other end of those. Uh, I've seen him get a few people out of the air with those. And Bonsai posted up, ready to go. He's got his finger over the Q button. Are we going to see it here? No, he's not going to use it just yet. He's at 64, and now he's being healed. 89, 149 now. He's back up to full health. Murray State getting the ults ready. There's a shatter coming in. Didn't really matter because he gets taken out by Bonsai right away. Excellent timing for the kill. And another beautiful ice wall. Zarya able to get away just in time, but gets frozen. And her does not want to let him get away. It's a point of pride for him. <laughs> At this point, Murray State's probably a little mad, so they're definitely going to be taking it out on Ontario. And very impressive. I mean, it's very easy. It, you get pushed all the way back to spawn like that. You're going to get tilted, and you expect – I expected – Ontario to make much more progress already. Uh -huh. And Murray State just very calmly just took it back and they've got, they haven't even used any ults. And we might see one now though. Bonsai coming in. I don't think he's, no, they he's. knew he was there again. But there's the Blizzard. Blizzard coming in for 
Murray State, Ice Wall again, making sure nobody can retreat. The May, poor little May with her Ice Block, ran out just at the wrong time. And Murray State again, stabilizing and waiting for Ontario to push forward once more. So confident, Bonsai Tuna, just able to go straight face and pull those triggers, dropping people left and right. And he's still got his ult. He's waiting. He's like, I don't need to use it. He's trying to get a, a bigger play of the game than the, the last map. Yeah. He wants to, you know, outdo that one. Reinhardt pushing up very far. Damage that ice wall made it hard for the supports to heals. And you see why. Taz is down now, thanks to the Chief. The coalescence from Emily is still in reserve. The Immortality Field makes sure that Fushi doesn't die. Murray State is, I think, almost fully stacked on ults. Maybe Blizzard is the only one they don't have. Oh, no, they've only got the two now. They've wasted Coalescence as soon as we said it. Or not wasted it, used it. Used it. Here's the Graviton Surge from Zarya. Bottle of Beep has taken out Bonsai, unfortunately. Now Murray State is being pushed back. Flawfilth in an effort to try and keep uh, the Chief alive. He unfortunately goes beyond that barrier and dies. Uh, and with a minute 50 seconds left, there's maybe another team fight before this next point, I'd say. Maybe. But I think Murray State's wow. going to let them have it. Well, and especially with how far up they're pushed here, they're not going to have a choice anyway. Right. Still waiting for everyone's respawn now and they're in. Just going to have to push it. Bonsai will take the high ground. It's going to be like Obi-Wan and use the high ground to his advantage. <laughs> and he was thinking about it there, but... Oh, oh, my goodness. What a shatter from Ontario. Fortunately, Emily there with that damage orb at the right time takes out Taz. And Bonsai taking out the Zarya. Flawfilth now returning the favor and killing two shot. Murray State turned what could have been a horrible situation into a good one. Perfect timing by Emily to get that damage orb out. And I believe we had an invuln shield out at the same time as the better went down. Yeah. So that helped save Murray State quite a bit. I wonder if... I don't know if the Ryan, I expected to see him charge there maybe because there were a few that were kind of lined up, but. And now Ontario putting a lot into this fight. We see Reinhardt Bubble just swinging away. There's the Coalescence trying to just make sure he doesn't die. But Fushi is able to take out Bottle of Beat because he's pushed so far up and nobody really expected the Sigma to be up there. May Useo getting two people on Murray State, but it's not really gonna matter right now. The Chief, can he stabilize like Aziz does? He's not dead yet. He's gonna take out Taz. Oh, the shield comes up just in the nick of time. But he's look at that aggressive Orisa play. He's not afraid of anything. He's not. He's just going straight in. And there's the damage boost coming in for Murray State. Thanks to Fla Phil. They're going to shoot through that barrier, but Ontario's just going to push beyond it so that it's completely nullified. Emily falling. Bonsai gets two. Fla Phil takes out another as well. And Murray State comes away the victor on that team fight. Very. But no Blizzard for Blizzard yeah. there. No, t no, no team kill. No team kill. It's got to be a team kill. Got to be a team kill. Dairy Queen still hasn't agreed to that yet, but we're going to pretend they have. <laughs> yeah. If we just keep saying it's real, maybe they'll just one day. Absolutely. They're like, absolutely. oh, yeah, did we we agreed to that. I yeah, think, no, right? that's yeah. fine. Right, well, they keep it's saying it. It's just so. a blizzard. And here comes the blizzard for Ontario now. It's their turn to try and freeze everybody in Murray State. And it looks like they're going to get a couple. Immortality filled from Flout Filth right at the Take last second there to help. Bushi does fall, but Murray State. Oh, there's another shatter. Big old juice. Everything coming in. Die, die, die. Is he going to get that many? No, he only gets one, but Bonsai does without the ult take down Taz and Useo. There's another. Chief finishing up Wonderflow and Murray State with 40 seconds left. They're in prime position to close out this first round. Hear the damage ticking away. Oh, yeah. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds. Ontario needs to be aggressive here if they want to make it. Of course not. Uh, I mean, it's a respectable push. This is a very hard point on King's Row uh, to get past. And there's that Reaper in the back line. Excellent callouts from Murray State. He's going to fade away. The Ice Wall was not there to pre prevent him from getting away. We've seen that before. Nice little halt to pull the team over. Oh, yeah. And there's that Ice Wall. Saving it for the right moment with the halt to bring them back. And then Ice Wall to separate. But now the Coalescence for Ontario Tech is making it harder for the racers to stabilize. And Ontario, here they come, just everybody down this hallway. And and her backing up, the ice wall was there to help them out. Just hitting those icicles. Oh, oh my no. goodness, no, Fushi. And that's Fushi the wrong time down. for that mistake. Murray State has to step it up big here. And her's got the blizzard, he ice blocks to stay alive. Ontario's gonna be on top of him as soon as he gets out of that thing. He does pop off the blizzard. 
Oh, they get several. Murray State making their last in here. Double We're in blizzard. overtime. There's everything going on. No blizzard for oh, blizzard now. Now a shatter to exchange. Ontario Tech putting everything in. Murray State just trying to hold on. Chief stabilizing. He's able to stay alive. He's dancing beyond those shields. Good shield hops. Oh, no. He's going to fall. And there, there's a Reaper ult. Is it going to catch anybody? Two shot does get flat filth, and I think that's going to be enough for Ontario to push it. Nobody's going to be there in time for Murray State. Oh, I... Oh, yeah, no. I thought Anher was going to stay alive a second longer. Ooh. Round one. They took it with zero seconds, so as long as Murray State can do it quicker, they've got a better chance in the third round. And let's hope they can do it quicker. Like I said, this is definitely an even matchup tonight. There's no... No one feels lopsided. We're not up against any top 250 players or anything crazy like that. No, two and, uh, you know, it's... I have a feeling, too, I feel like on this map, I I mean, they ran the double shield last time. Maybe they're trying out something new, too. So both teams not really feeling pressured to play the meta. They can express themselves a little more, and you kind of see things that you don't normally see. Right, yeah. Everyone's pretty much here to learn during yeah. the preseason. I think uh, I think this is going to help Murray State. I know they watch all of these as VOD replays after the fact to kind of critique themselves, and they use they said they use a lot of these during practice. Um, they spend a lot of time with VOD review, not just going in and running quick play over and over. They all loved little David Bowie. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. We've got the chief on uh, Winston here. It's a fake out. You think so? I know so. Well, they may be scouting just to see if it's... Because we did see them run that, I think, on this map when the other team had a Bastion. Yes. So if they there may is switch if there's no Bastion. Or they may... I mean, who knows? I've been told that this is a strategy to catch out scouting oh. from the enemy team. There we go. Uh, probably see the switch here if they're going to do that. Yep. Yep. Okay. You see Zarya from Ontario just lobbing those in early. Ice wall to provide cover from Murray State. They're going to go around the, the statue. Ontario has read that. Chief falls early. Unlucky pick from Wonderflow. Or should I say a, a great shot from Wonderflow? But now the Reinhardt separated. They can equally punish Ontario Tech and unfortunately not able to capitalize before they come and help out their team. That's an early immortality field invested for Murray State. They're going to probably need to back up and regroup here. Oh, no, they're going to stay back there. They've got the Ice Wall to protect them on the left side. Oh, and there's a lot of damage coming in. Murray State's healers have got to make sure and provide those heals. Blobfield doing what he can. Both teams still just feeling each other out. Bonsai just trying to distract. He kept going in behind him and coming out and going in behind him. And they finally decided to turn around to take <laughs> care of him. And now they have to regroup. They don't want to go into this situation, 6v5. Plenty of time for Murray State. Three minutes on the clock. But they have to make it all the way. Uh, we've seen them make it before. It's not impossible. But this Ontario Tech team refuses to give up easily. So Murray State, they will have to work for it. Reaper thought about teleporting in on the back. Wonderful but he saved it. Oh, yeah. Excellent again. Chief has been nailing those all game. Uh-oh. There's another halt as well. Did I just hear a Hanzo dragon? Yeah, we did. There it is. Hanzo. Immortality Field is going to try to keep Murray State alive. I don't think they were expecting it, really. It does get Anher with the dragon. Ooh. And Murray State gets pushed back again. Fushi's got the Gravitic Flux, which I have a feeling will be very helpful on this next push if they can get it to work right. That Hanzo is just looking for a headshot here. Oh, yeah. You don't see a lot of Hanzos. Uh, even in collegiate play, so I'm a little excited here to, to check yeah, out some. Yeah, I'm here for it, man. More off meta picks. And there they go. They're going to time that ice wall. They need to get moving quickly because the maze ice wall doesn't take a whole lot of damage anymore in 2019. Oh, Ontario playing super aggressive and countering Murray State with the uh, Graviton Surge. The immortality field, not enough. The damage just too great. They're able to take it out quickly. Two shot was just ready for that. He took out that immortality field. And it allowed the damage to just rain in on Murray State. And now Murray State's in a world of trouble. One minute, 30 seconds. And they have to make it all the way. They need to get moving. Yep. And they've tried every time. They're going the same route. Yeah, they're going around the statue. I'm... That's uh, the default route. I think they should try to switch it up. And here we go. They're just going to hope to push forward and do it with some ults. Good old-fashioned 
uh, brute force here, and they do push back on Terra off the point. They better watch out for the Hanzo, too. Oh, yeah, he's going he's he's to try and get some shots. He's There's got the, the dragon. dragon. Yep. Immortality Field was waiting for it. So Mercy able to survive that. Wonderflow does get the Chief, but Sigma's still up. Fushi's still doing what he can. Just kind of pushed in and has grabbed this round by the scruff of the there neck. There Has taken this first point. Still got some alts available for the next team fight, which I feel like they're definitely going to need. Uh, this has not been a easy fight for Mercy. Good job, team. Let's keep it going. Don't think they were expecting that Hanzo dragon there earlier. Definitely don't. But apparently it doesn't seem to hurt the invulnerability field. It's not direct mm -hmm. damage. I don't think so. So glad that Flatfield is comfortable. Mercy State not playing as aggressive as we saw Ontario. They're going to hold this corner. Well, they keep one person. Oh, Where oh. Is? oh. Got a little duel going on. Interesting duel here. Bonsai, don't get headshot, please. Doing the day. He's going to fade away. He knows it's risky. He's going to try and play for his team here. Smart choice. If that were me, I would have ego challenged. And there's another shatter. Ontario getting several wow. of those today. But again, no picks from that. Another brilliant immortality field. And the Chief just doing work on the Orisa. And just Ooh. what can you say? Excellent teamwork for Murray State there. What I really like seeing from Ontario, though, is every time that damage field has come out, they just go in front of it. Oh, yeah. They're not backing up like you would kind of normally do. You're like, oh, back up to the guard. No, just go forward. We've yeah. got a Reinhardt. Charge through it. <laughs> they can't hurt us if we're not behind. They've also been pretty good in some situations about calling out that immortality field and taking it down pretty quickly. In that situation, they weren't able to. Uh, but earlier, uh, when they... It, you know, a couple minutes earlier, it was around one side of that statue. They just took it out quick. And we might see a Q press here. No, he's going to fade away to avoid being frozen. Gets beyond the shield. Oh, oh, my goodness. Not enough. Unlucky. I'm not sure if he should have held that one. I was kind of thinking a good Q there would have been. Oh, oh, wonderful. Ice wall and shield. Oh, no. They need that oh, and field vulnerability. And they do. The Chief falling, though. So much damage. And again, yeah, Kendo just knew that that was there. He took out that immortality field, which allowed the tail end of the dragon to just take him out. Ontario's comms are on point for this map, for sure. That music. Two minutes, 44 again. seconds left from Ray State. They've got plenty of time. Hey. And is it going to take another brute force Who's attack here to break the deadlock? Absolutely. But we've got ults. Ontario Ooh. definitely had to use a few. We could see a combo here. You don't see a whole lot of like Reaper and... Uh, Graviton Surge kind of combos, but it is possible. Or is he going to pop it on his own? He's trying to reposition it, as his character said. Oh, and they're not able to push forward very far through the damage matrix. They're able to use it there, but the Blizzard means Murray State has to back up and not get optimal use out of it. Murray State falling, dropping like flies, and Bottle of Beep gets the revive off, so Murray State pretty much falls to a team kill. Emily makes it away just in time. Back in a spawn, very safe. Music. It's playing again. Under two minutes to go. And Ontario invested quite a bit in that fight. So Murray State maybe has the advantage here. They need to get the early pick. And then they need to push. They need to capitalize. There is a shatter. Oh my goodness, 500 IQ. We see the flank Reinhardt almost pays off. Bonsai takes out Taz. There's the dragon. It is going to take out Emily, who is at the wrong place at the wrong time. And there's another revive for Bottle of Beat. Again on the Reinhardt. Oh no. And there is an ult wasted for Murray State. Dies just as he pops it off. Huge blow. And Hanzo just racking up the kills along with the May. Murray State now. Uh, probably two, three good more team fights left. They need to do something uh, now. You know, I always thought that uh, Mick Jagger and, and David Boy got along pretty well, but I haven't seen so many shatters. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen some of these MSU players before. Yeah. Kemper's right. Yeah, preseason. Good time to change around things and try new strategies and new players. Yep. If you're We've just got... joining us, you missed that last map. They ran the Reinhardt Zarya, which we haven't seen Murray State run very much of. Wow, good timing on that ice wall to get right in front of that damage field, but they just take it down thanks to the damage increase. And you know, Unfortunately, Ontario able to back up and get out of the way of it. And Murray State is... Where is Ontario at? Oh, there here. they are. They regrouped off of a few bad picks, and here we go. 30 seconds remaining. This is going to be the... Probably the final, final team fight. The mortality field has to be popped due to that Graviton Surge. Two frozen for Murray State. Bonsai's down, now Fushi is as well. Murray State, extreme disadvantage here for the racers and they're not gonna be able to do it. 
The Chief is going to fall. Emily as well. Flawfilth is not going to make it away. And Valkyrie I don't think anybody boost. gets there in 10 seconds. No. And there's a there's, there's a, a dragon. Hanzo Dragon to try to seal the deal. And that's going to mean Ontario Tech is going to take map two. Oh. So we're one and one. One and one. One great, great map by Ontario Tech. Uh, letting us know that King's Row isn't default ours yet. For such a strong start to the season, I've seen them fall off a little bit on King's Row. Brain 200 IQ played. Tape down forward in W. <laughs> and pretty fitting that Hanzo gets play of the game. We don't see him a whole lot anymore. No, but that is some clean Hanzo work right there. 56 of limbs.